All right, guys. So today I am going to go over how to fix the audio syncing issue in Fallout 4 in regards to Radeon graphics cards. So um, obviously NVIDIA is the more popular graphics card of choice for most people. And a lot of the guides out there in response to this issue um, only go over how to fix it if you have an NVIDIA card. Basically, what causes the issue is that the game was designed for between 30 and 60 FPS. So if you're going over 60 FPS um, or you have a high refresh rate monitor, like at 144 hertz monitor, you may find that characters start to move kind of uh, strangely quickly. Um, for instance, like maybe a ghoul will pro pop out of the ground and then suddenly it travels like 20 feet in like half a second. And it's, it's very awkward movement. Also, with the dialogue in cutscenes, you'll see that characters' lips are moving, and they'll say stuff, but their lips will continue to move. Their, their lips and the audio is completely out of sync. It's caused by, like I just said, the over 60 FPS issue and the higher refra uh, refresh rate issue for your monitor. So, with NVIDIA, there is a couple of ways to fix this. First, you can go into your settings in here. Um, go into your monitor settings. So you go into settings, display, scroll down, advanced display settings. This allows you to change your refresh rate. I don't recommend this fix, but it does fix it. If you change your refresh rate down to 60, it will fix all of the issues for you. Um, the better way to fix it that I found because the issue with this is that that does change your monitor refresh rate from 144 down to 60. And if you play other competitive games like uh, PUBG or Call of Duty or any of those any of those fast place multiplayer games, um, you'll end up wanting to switch it, switch it back over to 144 hertz. So instead of having to jump between the two, there's a really easy way to do this within the Radeon settings. So if you right click your desktop, go into the Radeon software thing here. You'll normally be on the home tab, but where you want to be is on the gaming tab. So you'll click on gaming um, and you can go into the exact game that you want to fix. So with this tutorial, we're going into Fallout 4. Clicking on Fallout 4 lets you tune the game performance settings and stuff like that. There's only two settings in here that you're going to want to change that will fix your issues. Um, first, you're going to want to turn on vertical refresh to always on. Um, if you've noticed, Fallout 4 no longer has a vertical uh, V-Sync option, so you can't turn it on through the game settings. Um, there are some ways to go into the game config files and do that, but what I found is that that didn't actually solve my issue on its own. The thing that really solved my issue was this Radeon Chill feature. So I turned on Radeon Chill, I put my min FPS to 59, my max FPS to 60, and that solved all of my issues. Now, initially I turned this to 50, which is why you can see my average FPS is only at 52. When this is not turned on, I get an average of around 150 to 200 frames per second in this game. With it being a single player game, the frames per second isn't quite as important as it would be in a multiplayer game. So this fix should not cause you any issues. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. That's the whole way you fix it. I hope this helps you guys out. I know that I had a really hard time finding a Radeon fix just because nine times out of 10 when I'm having an issue that has something to do with a graphics card and I start looking up fixes online, almost every single tutorial has to do with an NVIDIA graphics card and I can never find tutorials for Radeon. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, you know, let me know in the comments. Thanks.